Hello, you beautiful people. It's Friday. <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah. Let's see if you got an Xbox One. <laughs> Speaking of which, and I'm not even talking to you, Xbox. <laughs> anyway, look. Um, <laughs> I got the connect connected to the Xbox One. So as soon as I say Xbox, it turns on. <laughs> anyway, look. Uh, we're talking about uh, 400,000 disabled gamers in Xbox. We're talking about Xbox adding features, you know. You know, I remember when this week on Xbox first came out on Xbox One. And when the show was getting going, I remember Major Nelson came out. And they were talking about, you know, creating uh, controllers for the disabled gamers. They're like, this like, they're just like, this is disabled keyboard for people who can move their arms like norm, like uh, normal people would so you know Microsoft was always looking out for the disabled gamers and um <laughs> and um you know they've been continuing since so I, I just seen this article on game rent says here uh Xbox adding new accessibility features Microsoft announced a number of new Xbox accessibility features the company has been working on for both players and developers hmm. says here on October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month and Microsoft has announced some new accessibility features coming to Xbox there are currently more than 400,000 disabled video game players but it's but it's easy to overlook some of the ways that simple addition came can make their gaming experience more enjoyable or possible at all. It can also be difficult for game developers to pinpoint a set of basic accessibility features that encompass the needs of the majority of disabled gamers because disability varies so widely in type and severity. Microsoft began taking strides to improve accessibility for gamers as far back as 2010 with the Kinect peripheral for the 360, a motion sensitive device that allowed players to control Xbox consoles with their bodies or voices. <laughs> the Xbox adaptive controller was creative with input from the disabled community and released in 2018, drawing further attention to the importance of making gaming accessible, accessible to all players and spurring discussions about what else could be done to bring bring the fulfilled pastime to everyone this result in the xbox accessibility guidelines and the features like cop 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 a lot which enables two controllers to function as one microsoft got the disabled gaming covered man <laughs> I, like look i remember when major nelson came out with and, and they were on and they were showing on this week on xbox they, they've been taking that they've been taking that issue serious but well, let me continue Microsoft has released a showcase video that reveals some of the new accessibility features the company has been working on for Xbox gaming on console and PC these include some simple but useful addition like putting meta metadata tags on games on the Xbox Microsoft store so players can ascertain at a glance whether a game has the accessibility features they need to play good looking out uh, uh, Phil Spencer <laughs> the ease of the X access section of the Xbox menu has been renamed accessibility and already includes a number of features with more incoming night mode filters out blue lights reduce brightness in both the display and controllers and can be customized to personal uh, preference they are also adjustable color filters to assist players with different types of colors weakness like dura dur let's see du deuteran renopia or tri tritanopia making games easier to to view for everybody and it says here the video shared a number of testimonial from disabled gamers who share how accessibility features can change their gameplay experience for many people, disability can bring social isolation and playing video games can be a welcome method to interact with others. So it can be frustrating when games or even when the console itself
don't provide the necessary means to facilitate their abilities to play. As one person in the video state, to me, gaming accessibility is about enjoying a game with no barriers or struggles. Like Phil Spencer said, sales ain't the end all be all to video games. <laughs> anyway, Xbox also support game developers who wants to incorporate more accessibility features into their games. This includes providing resource to understand what accessibility is and how to create accessible experience from the technical sides of things. The Xbox Accessibility Guidelines is a list of the best practice that covers everything from UI innovation, navigation, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, hap, haptic feedback, difficult options, screen narrations, and visual distractions. And it says Microsoft efforts to be more accessible to disabled people extend beyond the gaming platform. Sales ain't the end all be all to video games, people. Anyway, some people find it particularly challenging to sell themselves in a tradition interview settings. So the company now has a new neurodiversity hiring program that allow job candidates to demonstrate their qualifications and strength from within Minecraft, letting applicants in the final round of interview play the game together to showcase their skills and how well they work in a team. And that is the end of the uh, article. Phil Spencer came out and warned everybody on YouTube that would talk that always pushed this sales narrative in people's face all day and said sales ain't the end all be all to video games. Microsoft always been taking disabled gaming seriously. So no so basically in in in, in Microsoft eyes, I mean in Phil Spencer's eye, the entire gaming division in Xbox and Microsoft you know, they're taking disabled gamers' needs and wants very seriously. They're not leaving no gamer behind. So, this was a very uh, a good article to show the strides and effort they're making to make gaming for everyone, including disabled people, more fun and entertaining. So, Microsoft is just moving, man. That's all they've been doing, you know. And um, it's just showing, you know, uh, how, how far they've come, you know. And um, it's, it's, they're, they're getting... They're getting they're, they're better and getting better at what at what they do and um, they're showing they're showing disabled gamers love and respect you know that they're not gonna leave them out of the picture and just leave normal game and just focus on normal gamers no everybody's included so they're making they're making strides and they're making moves you know to make the Xbox platform more better and <laughs> like I tell people three things people didn't see coming <laughs> they didn't see Phil Spencer coming. That's number one. <laughs> they didn't see the Zenimax Bethesda deal coming. That's number two. And they didn't see Game Pass. Phil Spencer, Game Pass, and that Zenimax Bethesda deal, man. They've been making moves ever since. So this was a good move on their part, man. You know, to, to so, you know to really, you know, take up take up take up the mantle, so to speak. You know, for dis for, for disabled gamers. You know. Because disabled disabled people have it, you know, they have a they have a tough time. You know, they can't move around like we are. So, you know, a billion dollar Mike, a, a billion dollar company like Microsoft is a show in the world. Like, look, we take game, we're taking gaming seriously. It's not just about sales and exclusive and who sell the most consoles, man. We got we got other stuff. We got we got other stuff that we're working on, and we're showing the gaming world that we 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 care about gaming and. Since what? Since the Xbox 360, they've been taking this, take, taking this position. Well done. Keep up the good work, Microsoft. Keep doing it. <clears throat> That's all I can say. You know. And um, keep moving. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box with this article. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Poor Dark Side. Come on. Peace.